Hi guys, I'm back. And this is going to be a long video, so um, can't help it, but it's um, a very time consuming to do resin, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a resin pour. So uh, before I do anything, I'm going to uh, put on my, my gloves. And what you see here is um, poly glass. I think that's what they call it, acrylic glass. So I got a pair of uh, gloves on. And like a, a viewer told me, you know, just double glove and that's much easier and I'm going to do that. So you put two gloves on each hand. And that way when it gets really, really sticky, you can just uh, take off a pair and you have clean gloves on. Now, just open the bin so I don't have to open the bin with uh, very sticky hands. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is, uh, like I said, poly glass, acrylic glass. Uh, I leveled it out. It's very important that you do that. So what you do is put a, uh, one of those water level things on there. Make sure it's really, really flat because um, right now I have tape all around the uh, the glass pane and I'm gonna be doing all sorts of stuff to it there was a hair I see a hair or oh, it's on the on the other side that's okay uh, so I'm gonna pour on this I'm gonna manipulate everything then I'm gonna tear off the um, the tape I usually don't do that but I'm expecting it to flatten out and if I can avoid it, I'm not going to use Resi Blast because then I have to do a double coat. And this is really heavy. This is, stuff is really heavy. So I want to avoid that. So I got my measuring cup. And I start with um, A. And a lot of people ask me what I use. This is what I use. It's Mastercast 121 Clear Artwork and Casting Resin. And this stuff is uh, very, it has no, no smell, so that's what I like. And as, it see, as you can see here, non-toxic. And it's the only one that I can work with. And I've tried, you know, a couple. But this is the only one I can work with. Got to be careful here. Got to give it a little bit. I think I'll go to, uh, let's see, now nah, I'll do two. That's two. And then I'm coming in with the other one. This one is B. This is the harder, hard stuff. Whoopsie poopsie. Letting it come up to four. A little bit more. There we go. So I have 400 um, milliliters. Put them away. And I have a plastic stir stick. And now the stirring begins. So you just make sure that you get A and B totally smoothed out and in each other. There we go. And this takes a while. But I thought I'd just start the video because otherwise, you know, I get all the questions. What are you using? How do you mix it? How do you weigh it? So we're mixing it first in the middle here and then make sure you get the sides gotta really get those sides and this stuff is uh, at the moment as you can see it's pretty thick but that's okay it'll work <laughs> it's about 18 degrees in my uh, in my uh, studio This is a lot of work. I'm getting warm right now as I do this. 
And you know the bubbles that are that you're stirring in? That's no problem at all because this stuff releases the bubbles really fast. So here we go. So I guess I started this about four minutes into the video. So I've got some stirring to do. The colors I'm going to use today is uh, primary elements and this is it primary elements and if you want to uh, check them out they're by uh, oh, that's the wrong that's a new that's the old name but it's primary elements and uh, you can find it online I'll put the link under the video it's colorart.com it's a uh, USA uh, company good old America Leslie uh, did this. Leslie uh, made the made the company. She made all these um, beautiful, beautiful colors. She um, did that. She started out in her kitchen and gradually got bigger and bigger, and uh, well, made a lot of colors. So uh, you have a lot of colors to choose from. If you go to her website, what you do is. Uh, you look for she has a lot of items but you want to look for primary elements what's on here and I'm using terracotta rose I might not use this because eh, maybe I will see that's the color up there uh, snapdragon boysenberry and wisteria that's what I'm gonna do all purples because I feel bad that I said, you know, that purple reminds me of death, but it really does. I can't help it. But a lot of people, I think, didn't like me saying that because I got um, one comment with um, a beautiful uh, lady who had purple hair. I'm sorry, you, your hair is beautiful. But, you know, it just reminds me of that because um, over here, uh, when someone dies and you send them flowers and they get those you know silk ribbons on the on the wreaths then they uh, always have like a black or a purple or black and purple uh, border on them and I've seen too many of those so I guess that's why it rem reminds me of you know that but it doesn't matter it, purple is a, pu is a beautiful color it is okay I've been way around the sides so this has got to be good Okay, uh, I'm a little bit sniffy because uh, I still haven't beaten that bug and I don't think I will until uh, next year. Every time I go to work, I get contaminated. I've got to do something about that. I think I'll put some uh, real heavy duty uh, Dettol or something in my bag. You know, those Dettol wipes and uh, I'll do something with those. So, okay, now comes the sticky, yicky part. So I'm going to put some in here. This is the purple. It's dripping all over the place already. <laughs> you got to love it. Okay, now I'm going to make sure that it's nice and beautiful and smooth and shiny. There we go. Got to see if where my all my glitters are because uh, there's going to be a lot of glitter in this stuff. Okay, this one's ready. Yep, it's pretty. Now that one we've had, then we go to I'm going to go to the boysenberry. That's a, just a little bit darker. And let's see. And it's a little bit um, not as fine. So it'll have a little bit more. It'll have a little bit more time before it's uh, totally soaked up by the uh, by the resin. But we don't mind. We're going to we're going to do this. Just trying to make sure it doesn't drip all over the place. Now, when it's uh, a little thicker, the pigments, you have to give it a little time to uh, get in there. And it will. Just give it a little time. 
Now, as you can see, I've been stirring like a crazy woman. But as you can see, there are no bubbles. So we're just going to give this a little time to get in there. And it might just add a beautiful effect because I'm going to um, do the background with Vallejo. And I'm going to be using this as a background. That's ultramarine violet. But first, I still want one color of purple. And this is wisteria. It's nice and uh, smooth and very fine. So I will, I'll skip the other one. I think that's about enough color because I'm also going to do uh, bronze and gold because I like how that reacts with the uh, resin and when I put the hair dryer on it. There we go. So mixing it all up. Now that's a pretty, pretty color. It'll give some uh, Kazam to it. It's almost pink. Well, it is kind of pink, but you know, it'll uh, it'll work out. It'll be uh, cool. They fit together. Got to stir this one again. And uh, remember, uh, the the larger the particles are, the longer time it'll take to uh, really get into the uh, into the resin. Now I'm going to come in with my sun gold. This is sun gold and I want a lot of it. There we go. And this is Dutch, Dutch mica. So the pigment is made here in Holland. Scoop some over the edge there. Oops. Get in there. Oh, it's dripping all over the place. Now this is a lot. So I'm going to give it a little bit more resin in a bit. There we go. But it is beautiful. Because I want, mainly I want it to be a lot of um, bronze and gold. And the colors is just, you know, that's just going to be to give it a little pop but I want it to have a lot of this uh, beautiful gold and the bronze. So that's ready too, yep. And I'm gonna come in with my bronze. And because bronze is uh, a, a sort of brown, it, it goes with the purple, I think. So that's a lot of uh, bronze. But we are going to do a lot of effects with it, so that's okay. A little bit more. There we are. Ooh, this is good stuff. Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. And this is, uh, officially this is stuff that they put in uh, auto paint, so it's really light fast. Like I shown in a couple of videos ago, I had this stuff laying in the uh, windowsill for a long time, and it really worked. Now, when you do the um, acrylic, you got to watch out because um, you don't want to put too much in there. comes see that it really colors the resin just a tiny bit now let's see if I got everything yeah pretty much and remember guys whenever this gets boring you can just uh, fast forward <laughs> 
no problem at all. Just a little bit more. This is a transparent, I think. Let's see, semi-transparent, yeah. Okay, we got that ready. Then I want some white. And shall we do white? Nah, let's wait with that. I'm not sure about that. Let's do a little bit more of this uh, purple. Yeah, I think I need a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna put them aside. Gotta make, uh, do it a little faster because you know, you only have that much time to do this stuff. Okay, here we go. Now what I'd really like is it to be, I want that bronze and gold to be really, really prominent in the, uh, in the painting. So I'm gonna do this one again. Putting that over here, that's nice. Putting a blob over here. I'm gonna take this one. That's a pretty dull color. I think we should put some silver in it. Just to give it a little spunk. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Ooh, I like this. Look at that. Some more here. Okay, now I'm gonna be uh, blowing it all over the place. So if you don't like the uh, noise of a hair dryer, you can turn down your volume. That's about that. And too bad that I finished this. I don't think I have enough of this, but we'll see. We will see what it does. Okay, here we go. transparent. Let's make it come down a bit. And that's not a bad thing. Now I'm going to come in with all the uh, all the colors, the bronze and the gold. And like I said, I want a lot of it, especially in the corners and around the sides. Ooh, those colors really go well together. Just want to make this a little thinner. OK. 
Okay, here we go. Up in the corner, down there, wound it up here. And a lot of it in the middle. Now I'm still waiting for that pinky color because I sort of really like this. So let's do it. Heat on high. gorgeous that is nice 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 okay that's cool from here but I think it does need more purple so oops let's put some more purple in there oh that is gorgeous you gotta I really have to say that you know the colors they just pop and everything pops and I will be putting Resi Blast in it. I don't care about the uh, double pour. This is something beautiful. Oh, you should see this up close. I will in a bit. I'll show you in a bit. Got to get a, see what, if I put a little bit over it, what it does. Okay. And I wanted to try a little bit of this. Let's see. Very slowly. Let's see what it does. And I'll come in with heat again, but I just want to disrupt those lines a little bit. Oops. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then I'm going to try and pour right over it. That they're going to do something together. Nope, need more air. Just a little disruption of those lines. Okay, now that's that. I was thinking of using alcohol, but I, I thought, nah, why, why do that? Let's do some Resi Blast. I didn't want to do Resi Blast, but I guess I will. Let's see. Put a little bit on the stick here, as you can see. See what it does. Oh, you can't see it from up there. I'll put a little bit on the, uh, there we go. Okay. 
Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it working. Now, some people have asked me, you know, what is that stuff? Is it silicone? And to tell you the truth, I don't know. But it does give beautiful, beautiful patterns. And uh, using it on a stick like this, you're in control of what you're doing. So I'm going to do, like up here, a whole band of these uh, drops. And I'm really not using much. And I'm going to see if a double dip does something else. Let's see here. No, one drop does it. That's what you get, and you don't, even if you put another one on it, doesn't matter. Oh, wow, look at that. Is that gorgeous? This is really impressive, really is. I really like it. It's just growing and growing and doing its thing and it's really, really beautiful. Oh, I did a little drop there. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to do something to that to make it match. It, it I don't know, it reminds me of some sort of a fossil. That's what it did. The last one I did, the same thing. Reminds me of some sort of a fossil. And that's another one of my hobbies. I uh, run around with a metal detector. I kind of like that. That is cool. But this is a lot of work. But I told you it's going to be a long video. Because I want to, you know, let it go up and in, into the corner like it was uh, some sort of fossil in a piece of uh, stone. There we go. That's it. I think I'll, I'll leave it like this. Let's see. That is stunning. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting real quiet because I'm sort of, um, you know, impressed by what's happening here. Giving them a little bit more of a... Trying to put really little ones in. Each time I do this, I clean off the little stick. You know, just with my finger like that. And then I put on a little, little bit again. Let's see, that's kind of nice going up there, maybe to here. Oh, 
Oh, those are nice and big. One down there. And one up here. Oops, not too much. Don't want too much. Little one there. I think we're uh, done. I like it. Okay. Now, like I said, I was going to take off the tape because, uh, oops, let me put the cap on the Resi Blast. Oh, well, we can do some experimenting here. Wait a minute. So I'm going to get another little stick, if it'll come out, yeah. And I'm going to do some uh, dimethicone. I'm going to put this on here and see what it does. And then we will all have the answer, right? Let's put one up here. See what that does. Well, it does, does a little bit, but not like the resi last. The Resi Blast, um, I don't know, there's something in there that makes it go um, a lot, a lot broader than um, just with the silicone. Let's see. Let me get some out. Nah, I like the Resi Blast better than uh, this stuff. So, um, as you can see, they, uh, they're just more, I don't know, they have a different shape. I think that's it. I kind of like it, but I'll just use Resi Blast. Okay, now I'm going to take the tape off. If I can get it off. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah. And I'm going to let this stuff come over the side if it will. And otherwise I'm gonna help it. That's one. Oops. Okay, it's over. I released it and I'm gonna smooth it out with my finger over the side. Okay, taking off one pair of gloves. Uh -oh. Got a little stuck there.
Okay. Now what happened? I think I had a lot of resi blast on my gloves, the ones I just took off. So I went along the side and as you can see, it's starting to uh, do something. So I have to blow that off. That's better. Oops, a little bit there. Oh, I see more. Because you don't want to uh, see that. Let's see. Getting the drips. That's okay. This side is perfect. I'm gonna do something extreme here. See if it's moving. Yes, it is. There it goes. Because I don't want that. There it goes over the side. Okay, better. Ooh, that's transparent. Okay. Doing this side too. Yep. Clean it off. Clean it, it off here. Oops, don't drip in it. Okay. I think we're ready. Looking if I really like it, because I can still do a little bit to it, but not too much. Nope, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied. This is it. And I can't show it up close. Let's see if I can give, put it up a little bit. Here we go. There we go. See that? It's not the right color though. The gold isn't so yellow. The gold is gold. There we go. Well, Tomorrow when it's dry, I'll show you guys. So uh, that's it. Okay, taking off the uh, last pair. Thank you guys for watching. It's been uh, a sort of a long video, but that's what happens when you do resin. So thanks for watching. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. See you in the next video.